Greetings, welcome, hello, my name is Adina, it's my beautiful wife Melinda, together we're Hustlin' Hooks here and on Instagram of course. Uh, it's another What's Sold video, we have 19 orders going out, so let's get right into it. So as Adine mentioned, we have 19 items that we're packing up tonight. It's a little bit slower of a weekend for us. The reason is totally on us. We have had some other projects going on that have taken priority over processing and listing. Normally we have these big processing and listing nights and we just didn't have those for a bit. However, we've been working on perfecting and getting that spreadsheet out yeah. and it dropped on Tuesday. Thank you everyone who has bought it so far. If you have not bought it, we're gonna link it down below. It's just a really great convenient tool. We've already done the work of putting everything together for you. So you just really have to plug and play your inventory. Yeah, thank you so much everyone that supports it. Uh, hope you guys are liking it so far. Uh, there is a Facebook group that's a tech support group. So please make sure that when you purchase it on the first tab, it's gonna give you that link. Request to join, I'll approve it and then I'll see you there. Uh, so again, thank you. And um, I'm not just gonna you know, let you guys run wild right i'm here for you we'll make sure that if you run into any issues that we work on them together and we get you a solution yeah so that took up a uh, majority of the week because after it rolled out we still wanted to troubleshoot and get people up and running with it so we're back now doing a lot of processing and listing so we do expect our sales to increase from this point forward that was a big project that we were able to check off this week we also um, are 98% done with the renovation in the garage and that's a video that's coming up just to kind of show you the evolution of our, you know, we're going to call it the facility even though this is our house, but we, that project is, uh, is coming really strong. So that was another big chunk of time as well. Yeah, so we're getting closer and closer to being a finely tuned machine. Uh, before we get into it, if you guys could like and subscribe, it just helps us grow the channel and it helps us know that you like this content and to know to keep bringing it your way. We're gonna switch back and forth. Uh, that way we can pop up the actual screenshot of what's sold so you can learn about keywords, descriptions, and how we take the, the main cover photo, which is important, especially in some of this expensive cotton that we're gonna go over. So let's go into the sales. So I'm gonna start us off with some nice sales. These are fun ones. If you subscribe already to our channel, then you know that we recently did a live with Rally Roots, and we also had our special guest, uh, Dominic, from Dama Thrifts on Instagram. We did an unboxing of a $1,000 vintage t-shirt box, and there were some bangers in there. So we, photogra we processed, photographed, and listed them all on the same day which was about one or two days ago now, and we've already sold a few. I'm gonna go over those. Now, we are not vintage people, I will preface that, which is why we bought a box from people who do specialize in vintage, and that's why we also had Dom sit in too, because he is really great at his, his vintage as well. So, the first one is a vintage, it's a Marvel 1997, says on the tag, Spider-Man shirt. Obviously, it's the spider with the Spider-Man. And this is just excellent condition, extra large, just a cool shirt. Uh, this one we did not leave open to offers at all. We just did buy it now uh, because it was just priced at 50 and it sold, like I said, within 48 hours. So this is a Space Jam. Pretty basic on the front, just this Space Jam hit right here on the chest. And then the back is really the awesome logo. It's got Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan. It was a movie from the 90s, uh, authentic vintage. We did leave offers on our shirts that were priced about 100 and up, which included this one. And we took an offer of 95 on this Space Jam one. This one, this one's an awesome one. It is a Grateful Dead. Uh, but as they talked about in the live, it's not one of their typical tie-dyed busy ones, which I think maybe gives it a little bit more of an appeal. This is going to a collector of Grateful Dead tees and memorabilia, whatnot, just a fan in Canada. So the graphics surrounded by white and then the tour dates on the back there. This was a 1985 fall tour and we had this up for 250. We ended up going back and forth a little bit and we settled on 185. 
And then this last one isn't from the box. This is actually part of a set that Adine found on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody threw up some of their old vintage concert tees and he just said, seen said, I'll buy them all. They were asking $10 a shirt and they're small, they're smaller sizes. They were all the same person. They were their shirts, but really cool. They call, I learned this. These are called raglan tees. These like colored three quarter length sleeves. I didn't know that before Thursday. So it's a Kinks Tour, USA, 1981. Has some discoloring. All of this is obviously disclosed, you know, authentically vintage. And we took a best offer of this for $70, which pays for the whole lot that Adine got. And there's several more shirts from that specific buyout listed with higher values as well. So one tip that we took from Rally Roots that they've talked about before in one of their videos and if you are interested in vintage, go ahead and subscribe to them on YouTube if you don't already. And follow Dominic. Uh, he is Thrift on Instagram. He is not on YouTube, but he also knows very much about vintage. Okay. Is when you're taking the photos, and maybe we'll pop one up, so I'm not like under pressure to do it right now. But you just take a photo of the main graphic on the tee. Most people will know that it's a tour t-shirt and they're really just looking to grab that main image there and focus on that. So that's what we did pretty much with all of the t-shirts is our first photo was a close-up of the main graphic. So we're really happy we made uh, some good dents pretty quickly into both of those buys and Adine will come back and talk about some more categories. I'm going to start off with not exciting clothing, but some really good sales and also some shoes. So the first one that sold were these Merrells. They are a Vibram sole. They're just kind of like, you know, outdoorsy shoes, nothing crazy. They sold for $35 with uh, free shipping. They might go first class. They're ultra light. Um, yeah, paid six bucks, 35, pretty standard for these types of shoes. A uh, non-standard shoe, if you guys are not familiar with, this is Hoka. Hoka is just a great brand. I wear them myself just because when you walk on them, they uh, they feel like you're walking on clouds. Uh, these I paid up for. I paid $15 at a local thrift store, and they sold for $60 on Poshmark. Uh, we accepted a offer of $8 less just to get them moving, and they pay for shipping. So uh, very happy with that. A relatively quick flip. Um, Hoka's are just a great brand to look out for, even if they're a little bit beat up. Uh, look them up because we've seen some pretty beat up um, treads still sell really well. Speaking of a really good brand, Salomon is one. Um, here's the brand. You can you can see it on here. These were listed this morning. Today is Sunday and they sold uh, within the same day. I wanted to highlight these because they had some damage you can see right on the top here and one of the laces had like a rip in it and we disclosed both here's the little rip so we disclosed both but because they're super like they're high end they're probably a couple hundred dollars brand new they sold for forty dollars within the same day and we picked them up for six bucks at our local goodwill up next, my favorite category to sell and source, women's tops. Uh, really, like, I'm just really into it because I am so good at it. And this is something that sold. All I know is Torrid is a pretty solid brand. Wilna's trying to keep her composure behind the camera. Uh, I don't know anything about women's clothing. But this Torrid piece sold for 18 bucks shipped. It'll ship for $3. We paid 4 uh, Torrid, uh, not a ultra high-end brand, but always flips really fast for us. And usually we make about $15 to $20 profit on these little pieces. This Obama shirt sold. This is not vintage. Uh, this is a modern shirt. It just has this huge graphic on the front. It's a bigger size. Um, I probably should have looked this up, but I just thought it was cool because it's, it's just so flashy and, you know, typically loud stuff sells pretty well. This one took a little while. It sold for only $19 with free shipping. But again, you know, four into 19 after shipping, it's like a nine, $10 profit, which is not what we usually source, but it's out the door and it's gone. Was it four? Because the t-shirts at the Goodwill are 250. Oh, never mind. So if you heard one to say that, uh, 250 for the shirt. So again, you know, about a $10 profit, which, hey, look, it's out the door. I'll look it up next time if I see something similar. And then another woman's piece, uh, 
This That's is, a men's suit. This is a men's suit? Yeah. <laughs> this is how much I know about clothing. This is a men's suit. I mean, are you sure? Look at the tag. Okay. It's ASOS I, menswear. I believe you. This is ASOS menswear. This is a men's suit. A very... Fashionable? Sure. Fashionable men's suit. Uh, anyways, Mona found this for $10, and I assume you were attracted to the flashiness of it before you looked it up, because it's pretty bold. Um, anyways, it was new with tags, and she found it at Goodwill for $10, and uh, we took an offer on Poshmark for 60 bucks. They pay for shipping. Um, this sold within a week, I believe, so very happy. And I'll just cover one more quick one. This is just Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I got this in a bulk cloth. This is for the Nintendo DS. It got a dollar into it. It sold for 13 bucks free ship. So again, it's like an $8 profit, but it's out the door. Uh, back to Monda with a little bit more exciting sales. So there's one sale that we already shipped out on Friday, and it was a pair of Brooks. They're great colorway. They just caught my eye at the Goodwill. They were a little bit uh, dirtier in some areas. Nothing major, and it was disclosed in the listing. We had sold them on eBay, but we were waiting for payment, waiting for payment, and I finally messaged the person because I actually got an offer on Posh for them. And the person replied, oh, I didn't know I accepted an offer. That's fine, whatever. So I canceled it, and then I accepted the offer on Posh, which was $30. They paid shipping on them. This is a Pampered Chef that we were going to ship out on Friday, but the original address was listed as a P.O. box. And with these measurements and the weight of it, it sold for $40 and the shipping was $40. So we messaged them and asked if they had a regular address that we could ship to simply because with a regular address, we could use FedEx or UPS, which is cheaper for larger, heavier items by a lot. Otherwise, we were pigeonholed into using U.S. Priority, and for something this big and heavy, it was not going to be cost effective. So that will be going out as well. I'll go over these two sets. We had built this set, and this was actually sale number 20 that just rolled in during our commercial break there. Uh, so the first set sold for 70 Smaller, larger emerald pans, nice and cleaned up. These were super dirty when we picked them up, but they clean up very nice. I only paid $5 a piece for them. They just required a little bit of sweat equity. So $10 into the whole set. This second set, they don't have the copper rings on the bottom, but they're still hefty and they're still very quality. Emerald pans, very clean three quart and a 10 inch pan. These sold for 67, but off the top of our heads, we don't remember where we got these ones or what we paid for them, but we do have our handy dandy spreadsheet. So once we go to log the sales price, we will know how much we paid for them. And last one I'm gonna cover is this black Nintendo Wii. This is the Super Mario edition. And that was a Wii game that just sold. But this is the Super Mario Wii. We thought originally that it was sealed, but then he messaged and said, it isn't sealed. So that's still all right. We paid $60 for it. It also came with a balance board in box that was sold with another set. This by itself sold for $150. Adine will come back and finish us off. So that sale that just came through is number 21, which is great because like Friday was super slow. I think we had three or four sales Friday. And today I think we have already had nine or 10. So that's been good. I'm gonna go through this stack of electronics um, the game that just sold was 25 bucks. It's Wii Sports, not Wii Sports Resort. There's also a Wii Sports Resort, it's like two in one. So there's three different versions, but this one came in a bundle, have about five bucks into it. It sold for $25 free shipping, uh, lightweight. It's here in this box photo. 
part of that deal, so when we did that Rally Roots Live at Dominic, Dominic traded us a bunch of VCR DVD combo units for some vintage t-shirts. It's just the, the most hilarious exchange ever. So thank you, Dom, uh, for that. Um, these came out of that. So we had a total of 20, including some of the ones that we got from him and then some that we had sitting to test. And of all those, we got 10 of them listed, um, 12, a couple of older ones that have been sitting around, 12 of them went to a local technician who's going to start fixing them. But of those 10 that we listed yesterday morning, three already sold. Um, so let's go through those real quick. This uh, Panasonic VCR only sold for $70 shipped. Uh, it's this one right here. Uh, Panasonic VCRs do pretty well for us. No remote, but we do buy these uh, audio video um, cables in bulk. So we just throw them in. So we have about 75 cents into each. It just makes it a little bit more appealing uh, because, you know, if you don't have a set at home, it's already, you know, plug and play if you buy the unit. So no remote on that one. With the remote, it would have probably sold for about $100 for free shipping. Next up on the bottom here is this Panasonic unit. This one sold for $75 shipped. Um, again, we threw in a, a pair of these AV cables. It also came with uh, this blank uh, VHS. If we have blank ones, we usually put them in. That one sold for 75. And then this top one, this is a Sharp. It's a little bit messed up. Like there's some scratching and like somebody has some duct tape on it. Um, all of that has been disclosed, of course, with photographs and also mentioned in the description. Uh, this one sold for $60 ship. And then last up is this Samsung. This is a DVD slash Blu-ray player, but it has built-in Wi-Fi. So when you're out thrifting, make sure you're looking out for these types of units. This is the second one that we've sold similar to it. Because it has that built-in Wi-Fi, it's like a smart DVD Blu-ray player with the remote. Um, I had an extra pair of HDMI cables we threw in. This was listed for $80 with free shipping. And I saw some comps around that you know, range, but it just wasn't moving. So I took it down, relisted it for 60 and it sold within like an hour. So make sure you're doing something with those old um, inventory items. Uh, with that spreadsheet, it does have a aged inventory report. So as soon as you type in what date you listed something, it automatically calculates how many days it's been listed. So this week, one of my personal projects is to take a look at all of our inventory that's been in our store for over 400 days and to do some sort of action, either relist, take them down, um, reduce the price, etc. So definitely a key feature. That spreadsheet, again, link in the description box below if you'd like to purchase a copy. Also a link down below, a video showing that spreadsheet and the power of it. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. So that's it for all of these sales. And I think that covers all of them, right? I'm pretty sure that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and get to packing, get this stuff uh, bubble wrapped, wrapped up, packed. And then we'll come back, we'll talk about the numbers, and we'll go from there. So here's everything packed up. Shipping wasn't too bad. We did have to customize these three boxes for the VCR DVD combo, the two VHS. This is that Nintendo. This is that Pampered Chef, of course. Uh, pots and pans, pots and pans. And then here, shoes and shoe boxes, electronics and that suit. And then everything else was pretty small which is really nice so a lot of this stuff ships for about three bucks first class and then of course the expensive stuff we put into these um priority flat rates even though we could have shipped them first class just to get that insurance so anyways that's everything packed up let's go through the numbers so if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much it's getting pretty late it's just past midnight so it's time for us to wrap this up and go to bed we did finish packing everything uh, if, again, if you made it this far, thank you. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help grow our channel. And it, if you haven't, consider subscribing as we give you what's sold videos, haul videos, and just kind of our adventure into this whole yeah. growing it from scratch uh, into a future multi-million dollar company. Anyways, this weekend we did 1,388 gross. Off that, over 700 came today. Like that's That's yeah. how volatile this business can be. Um, but we did list a bunch today. Like yes. I think we listed over 30 items today, which is yeah, great. Yeah, we both pumped out a lot of listings today. For yeah. Sure. Uh, of that, the cost of goods were estimated at 374. The uh, total fees estimated about 153 dollars. Taxes on this again, you're gonna get taxed on your net minus deductions. Roughly, we're we're taxed at a 25 percent rate which in this case is $172 that we're going to set aside for taxes. And so our net 
cash uh, after shipping. Sorry, I forgot shipping. Shipping was $170 for everything behind us. So the net is $518. That's cash after everything. So not too bad. So we basically took, you know, $374 and turned it into $518 of profit. So yeah. we more than tripled it, right? Yeah. So that's pretty good. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you find some value in this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good night.